Hi kids, good morning and happy Sabbath once again. Today, we are going to listen to another story about the fundamental beliefs. For the previous Sabbaths, I know that you've heard about the Word of God, about the Trinity, God the Father, and God the Son. So today, we are going to learn about God the Holy Spirit and its work. When Adam and Eve committed sin, they were not allowed to stay inside the Garden of Eden. They got separated from God. But God loves us so much that He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross so that you and I will be saved. But after Jesus' death, during His resurrection, he told his disciples that he has to go back to heaven to prepare a place for us. But he said that we shouldn't worry because a person will be sent. Aside from Jesus, there will be a helper and that is God the Holy Spirit. Now some people are going to think that they haven't feel the Holy Spirit, that they don't know that the Holy Spirit really exists. But it does not mean that if you cannot see it, it isn't real. We have to remember that the Holy Spirit can be felt inside our hearts. And according to 1 Corinthians 6 19, it says, Do you not know that our bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit, whom we have received from God? So see, we have the Holy Spirit inside us. Now, to furtherly understand about the work of the Holy Spirit, allow me to do a science illustration. We are going to have an experiment. Now try to see this bottle. It has vinegar in it and a balloon. This bottle represents our body. And a little while ago, I actually put a little baking soda inside our balloon. And we are going to know what is going to happen once we are going to put the baking soda inside the bottle. See it for yourself. What happened? Yes. The balloon was filled. Same is true with our body. This is our body and we are going to be filled once we allow the Holy Spirit to comfort us and to guide us. Now let me try to ask you, have you ever felt that you were sad? Did someone even comfort you? How about doing bad things? Did you ever feel that someone is telling you not to do it? Making you feel guilty? But what if it's going to be for the first time? Did you even listen to the voice that tells you that you shouldn't do it because it's bad? Well, if your answers are all yes, that is the work of the Holy Spirit. You cannot see them, but you can feel them in your heart. When you are going to make a mistake, first you will feel guilty about it. You, The Holy Spirit will tell you to pray and confess your sins. For the second time, the Holy Spirit will still whisper to you and tell you that what you are doing is bad. Maybe on the third time or even on the fourth time. But you have to remember that there is a sin against the Holy Spirit. And that is when you are going to make the same sin over and over again. Maybe some people are going to say, Oh, we cannot feel the Holy Spirit in us. Oh, we cannot see the Holy Spirit or no one is touching us. Maybe because when they sinned, they did not listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit who tells them that what they are doing is bad. If ever, kids, this happens to someone you know, maybe your classmates, your friends, or especially someone close to you, I want you to share this message to them and tell them that they can still have the Holy Spirit in them. What are they going to do? All they have to do is to pray. They have to confess their sins. 
We need to ask for forgiveness. And most especially, we have to pray for the Holy Spirit to comfort us, to guide us. God is going to listen to our fervent prayer and He is going to give another chance that you and I will be filled by the Holy Spirit just like the bottle that we had a while ago. As long as we accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, the Holy Spirit can fill our hearts. So I hope kids, we've learned something from our story this morning about the Holy Spirit. Once again, thank you for listening and have a great day. Happy Sabbath!